She is first trip out for a couple of months. We um, just come over to the block and the same gully I shot my last yearling in. Just watching this face along here. And hopefully, down there, there's a stag somewhere. So I'll show you a bit of footage. We didn't have much time for a shot as far as um, setting up, but we um, there were, I'm not sure if it's five or six spikers, stags, just fed their way quite quickly around that face just down there. And um, Michaela managed to get a shot at one before it disappeared in the trees. Definitely looks like a good hit and it's turned and run the opposite direction to the others. So we'll head down there now. Dave's further down the valley. He heard the shot. He's going to make his way up the creek and give us a hand. And then, all going well, someone can get her deer. <laughs> Maybe. It's um, beautiful this morning. It's, it's calm down here. It's quite warm. Going to have to shed some layers. But uh, yeah, first things first. Well, it just dropped into the stream. Just going to make our way down. Sorry. To um, to where the stags were. Should have been on the face where I was sitting and shot from last time. Fingers crossed. Well, I so say that wasn't a very hard um, find. Dave's come in, come up the creek and met us, but he was just over there, standing there. He's run down here, smacked into the tree, and. Yeah, down. First one for a couple of months. I've forgotten how to gut, you'll have to do it. No, <laughs> no, your job. <laughs> we, we can sit here and instruct, yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> we were up on that face over there. And he was actually standing where I shot from a month ago when we got the yearling. So, yeah, same problem as last time. Got to get him out of this valley. It's a bit of a bit of a haul up there. <laughs> Get 
finger in that little hole, otherwise you're going to stretch the skin all the time. What do you mean? Finger in and there. Okay. And we have to cut in here? Cut down there. I thought we sharpened it. This is fucking blunt as hell. Could I separate it from this piece of skin as well, yeah? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, went to get the rhino and while I was away these two have fed out. Do we or don't we? We've just made our way to the top of the hill and along the ridge and we're just cutting back down closer to those spikers that we saw. The, um, yeah, they just moved off behind some scrub so we never had a shot at 600 metres so 560 it's um yeah it was doable but yeah not if we got scrub in the way so hopefully we'll um, cut down here and be able to get into range of them and get a shot I'll let you know all right well we didn't catch up with those spikers this morning they obviously got into the bush and bedded down so come back had some lunch and a bit of a kip and now we're going to head back out to the lookout and see if we can catch up with them this afternoon we know there's at least another six animals over on that face so we'll see if we can pick up another one love climbing that hill with deer Here. She's got a fat belly. Mm -hmm. She's quite thin, actually. Is that why she's got a fat belly? She's got nice long slender legs all the way up. And this is the end. Uh, good morning. Well, we didn't catch up with those uh, the spikers on the other side last night, and then we spotted another five just on dark. We thought we'd leave them for the morning. Uh, we went for looking for them this morning, but it's shit. Fuck, it's blowing its tits off, and it's raining. Um, nothing's coming out, so we're actually heading back to the hut to go home. And across the other side of that bluff there, there were. Um, Oh, half a dozen or so goats. What were they, 360 or something? What, what? Something about that. So just practicing a bit with the uh, the 6.5 PRC. Um, snotted a couple of those off the bluff. And Michaela spotted a couple of deer down the bottom there. Um, they were on the run, heading up the gully. So Dave and I just whacked one of those each. And they've rolled down into the creek. So now we're going to um, head back to the hut, pack up, get all the gear, get it out to the car, and 
go and retrieve the animals. The creeks come up a bit and we've done a repeater last time so hopefully we get across without any issues. And then yeah, try and get some more animals. Well, they're down, they rolled all the way to the bottom so they're definitely there. We've just got to be able to get, retrieve them. Well, we'll catch you over there. Well, here's the result from this morning. A couple of spikers. tumbling down off up here we were had a few shots at some gates over there I'm not going to go bother retrieve those I don't think at least Michaela wants to and we are up over on that face up there so We had to pick the hard ones, you know, all the rest of the ones we could have driven to. We go and pick the ones up the fucking little creek. But yeah, we'll process these and cross the stream. It's flooded, but we managed to get across this time. So yeah, should be home and host. Michaela's going to do another nice gutting job. No, I didn't shoot these ones. You spotted them. Same thing. It's your fault they're dead. Seriously, do I go down or walk? Down, yeah. Just let him roll so he doesn't take you out. the rhino. Right 